I'm no Ivy Lina Mikeloha, and welcome to Kumu Fast Views. Uh, yesterday we did Vaimapuna. Today we're going to do one of his Haumana. Almost 10 years later um, from that last video we watched, it was 1986. This one is 1995. So nine years later, we get to see uh, one of uh, his Haumana present a Kahiko at the Marimana Festival. We're going to do <clears throat> the 1995. Kane Kahiku of Kawaii Liu La. They do a million honor of Kuali'i. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Kailua, Oahu, under the direction of Kumuhula Chikimahoi, Hula Halao, Kawaii Liu La. With his fate and his life into the hands of Kuali'i, his chief. And in freely giving his will, he received the gift of Olaho, life renewed. The leaders of today are not as Pono. Therefore, we in this generation look to Akua and we put our lives into his hands. Mamuli o ke ia wā ko i ko i ahu i kau, no nā ka mana. O lindo mā ko kwe i kile, pēla i le kila malu no ke kai, e o le meu he o li piha puli ke mā ko uwe. Le 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 ka makani e po o nā pēa, o lu nā manu e ki ka ha malu no ka moku. Nui ke alohi loku ko mā ko pua e mahele mai mena po e a pe uwe. Pii na maunga ke i mi ani ka vekihu, ma ka ni ku honua i ka ulu veki veki ka akili hau ene me hawa i a pau. Ha avi me ke alok na me ea une, ha nana po e i kei na hulu, na ka ni le ali ke me nana lu ha i na pali. Ha ole meka meka ya ma ko no cha hua e ulu mai ka mole, ha loki loki ko ma ko makali ke me ka la, na lani ko ma ko uhane e ho mai ka i mai, e ulu mai ma ko e li ke me ke kumla au ka lao me ka la, la pi ha nui he. Oh, 
1995 and that was a really long mele and from what I remember um, it was a mele of a chief named Kuali'i um, he was from Kailua which is where I believe at that time Chinky was based out of or is still based out of I'm not too sure but it was a long mele that was passed down from generation to generation for a lot of years, 150 years or something like that, or 160. Because I believe it was a, a, a melee that's found in a book by uh, Kamako or Emerson. Kamako or Emerson or Fernander. Oh. There's so much <laughs> books out there, but I remember that they did their oli, their kai, their mele, and their ho'i was all himele no kuali'i. And I, because it, I believe they did it like that because it's a very long mele. And so you can break it up into an oli, into a kai, into the main mele, and into the um, Ho'i because it's that long and Kuali'i was a chief. It was a, he was a chief of war. So he was very akabai in his warfare in and and how he led troops to war against um other um chiefs in other districts or other ahupua'a. Like I I heard them mention Waianai, I heard Mokulei'a. I heard Waya Lua and Eva. No, no, no. Well, I heard White and I for sure. I heard Mokulei for sure. But you know, the imagery that you get in the mele itself is of, you know, quick movements, smart movements, war movement. They even did that Ohelo step in the middle of the dance. Um that they, they did a really good job of of bringing that war feeling or that war look into the mill. It wasn't heavy war look, but they have movements in there that represented um you know being strategic. Like those leg movements, 
those the strength in those legs, man. Man, oh man, oh man. That's why us hula people have really bad legs <laughs> and knees and always in pain. Um, but you could see the resemblance to the Vaimapuna dance, the style, even to the way that he exited, right? You've seen in that last video how they exited was that domino effect where they came, start from there, they close it, close it, close it, and they did all those duck walks of going back and around and all of that. Oh, you see that style in Chinky's presentation. You can see that Vaima Puna style through all of his presentation and, of course, his own flair to it as well. Such a powerful performance. And the 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 beginning, the um, they always have an MC talk about the melee. He said that you know, in these days, that our little our polit political leaders are not good, so they put their hands in the God, right, into God's hands, and all of that stuff. Because that's what pretty much what happened is that someone put their um, trust into Kuali'i, and Kuali'i therefore, you know his war tactics and his war battles allowed that person to have a renewed life. That's what I got out of it, right? He got a renewed life because he protected that person. So that's the story they put in there as well. Anyway, if any of you guys from this year or any of you have um, intimate knowledge about that melee and want to chime in, please do so because I'm going based off of what I heard, what I remember reading, what I remember hearing and learning. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, make a pow lele, pull an ole. Aloha.